How's it going, world? So I bought a computer from Sager, the portable power people, and uh, I had looked online and there weren't many reviews, there weren't many uh, unboxings, there, there wasn't a lot of information out there, and so I figured uh, I would open mine and share it with the world. Uh, I'll open it, look at it, give you an idea of how it makes me feel, uh, those kind of things, and then I'll turn it on. So let's see what we got. So I ordered a 15-inch laptop, 15.4-inch uh, widescreen. Um, it gave me the option to do a matte screen. I don't like glossy screens because, you know, lights, obviously. So, <clears throat> uh, really nice screen from what I could see. No color-corrected IPS or anything like that. So this is what we end up with. Uh, in notebook computer, enjoy with me. Notebook computer, enjoy with me. I don't know what that really means. Enjoy with me. Okay. All right. I will. All right. So I ordered one of their mid-range models. I didn't order their low-end model, which by no means was low-end. Um, it was a lot faster than any of the computers that you would normally see in a retail environment. And I say that um, as a person who has worked uh, very recently in the computer sales retail environment um, for one of the bigger companies. Uh, a lot of people know about it. I'm not going to say it just because I don't want to. But uh, <laughs> uh, So... Uh, I bought a mid-range system. I got an i7, the 4810. I got 8 gigs of RAM. There are four DIMM slots. So uh, this particular model will accept up to 24 gigs of RAM. Uh, some of the higher-end models will go up to 32 gigs of RAM. Um, this has an 860 2-gig graphic card dedicated. It is non-swappable. On the high-end uh, computers that you could get, you could actually get a user-interchangeable um, graphic cards so in the future you could swap them out which I thought was really cool because that's not a feature that you hardly ever see on any of the laptops. You see them on some of the higher end Alienwares and things like that uh, but I wanted to go with something a little different. I didn't want to go with Alienware. Uh, one of the things that I liked about this model as well was that uh, it has the ability to have two solid state hard drives and then it has a bay for a standard hard drive and then you can obviously take out the Blu-ray drive and then put another hard drive in there. So I could potentially have four hard drives in here, um, up to 24 gigs of RAM, dedicated graphic card, uh, i7. I mean, it's it's a computer that will last well into the future. It's, it's future-proof. Now, I only got 8 gigs of RAM right now. There's really no need to get anything more. Uh, I will upgrade to 16 in the near future, but at this point, why? So, uh, So we've got all our documentation. I did go with Windows 7. I did not go with Windows 8. Um, so immediately right there I've got a Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1 recovery disk. So that's the recovery disk uh, which is really cool. That doesn't normally come in you know a lot of the computers. You have to make that. So it's nice not to have to make that. Uh, I've got some Cyberlink software so I don't. Maybe I'll use it to edit this video. Who knows? I don't have anything right now. So, kind of neat. Uh, trash, again, media suite stuff, device drivers and utilities for Windows Seven. That's cool. So they give you all the drivers on one disk uh, and utilities. Excellent. So that is something that uh, I don't. I in the computers that I sold, I sold HP, Toshiba, Samsung, Sony. Uh, Dell, Alienware, MSI, you know, I sold a lot of those, and from what I sold in a retail environment, um, stuff like this did not come on it. You would get basically maybe this. Sometimes they would put the documentation on the computer itself, and you wouldn't even get paperwork. Um, so we're not going to worry about that right now. <clears throat> okay. Good. Oh, I love these. These are good. 
I'll eat those later. Please, please don't eat these. These, um, these will kill you, I'm pretty sure, or make you really sick, so don't eat these. I'm not going to eat them. Um, yum. Okay, so, right here, ooh, that is a pretty beefy brick. Okay, so we got our power cord. It's all nice. I did, uh, they gave you the option to do no branding, so there's actually, well, let me get the tape off. There's no brand, there's no Sager branding on here, which I thought was neat. Now, it's got it on the bottom. Let's look at the bottom. Now, that's really clean. All it's compartment compartmentalized, I don't know. So you can actually get at this um, a lot easier. Yeah, you can even take... You can even take this entire section apart really simply. Simple. Excuse me. Okay. Let's get it open here. Oh, okay. Okay. Onkyo speakers. I thought that was pretty cool. Onkyo, they make some pretty good speakers, man. So we'll see. Uh, Built-in webcam. Uh, did have biometrics thumbprint reader. Let's see if we can't get that up there. So... You got the biometrics thumbprint reader right there in the middle. Um, it did come with the G4s, all that fun stickerage. Um, wow, this is this is really big for a 15 inch. I want to make sure this is my other laptop is a 17 inch. Let's see. Oof. It is just a hair, just a hair smaller than my, this is my old Toshiba laptop, and it's a big laptop, and this was supposed to be 15.4, uh, and, it, and it's, it is smaller, but not much smaller, and it actually has a tin keypad, which is unusual, but awesome, I, I love tin keypads. Um, I don't data entry or anything crazy like that, but, you know, when you want to add stuff, the same keypad is nice. Alright, so let's get this off here. I did do rush shipping. Um, not rush shipping, rush build, which was additional $50. Um, the normal build time for the computers... Uh, for this particular model, the build times differ uh, for each model, but uh, this one would take 7 to 10 business days, and that was just, that that's crazy, I'm not waiting that long, I'm, I'm an American man, we're going to get it now, so, okay, I, I just wanted it, you know, it's, it's not that I'm, it's, that was bad, I didn't mean to paint American. Okay, let's move on. No political stuff here, right? Uh, okay. Hmm. It's very slick. It's very clean. I like this. Um, as far as comments, it's it's a very clean and simple interface. One thing that I love about this, uh, and I am going to try to get the Intel i7 sticker. I'm going to try to get those off without making a mess um, because it's a very it's a very simple and plain looking laptop which I like because I want people to not know what you've got. You know, I want it to be sort of like, you know, an old car that is hiding a supercharged engine. So, this is my old car. I'm getting all of this off, and they wrapped it up real nicely. Now, one of the things... I can already tell is along the screen here, uh, this is going to be uh, bad for fingerprints. It does have this glossy stuff. Not that that's a bad thing, it's just an observation. Uh, you do have that. Uh, the screen is all great. Let's see if we can keep it that way. So here, here's the top. 
Pretty cool, right? Just looks like a just a old laptop. All right, so let's get the let's get this plugged in and see what happens. By the way, I'm recording like this because I only have my Galaxy, so it's really good video, uh, but I have to bend down and it sucks for my back. For my back. Oh, my back. I sound like a crazy person. I don't think they can hear me out there. There are people walking by. There's a crazy man with a knife. Let's put the knife up. I am plugging in the laptop. No, you're not. You're plugging in the cord. I'm plugging in the laptop. Uh, okay. So. Hmm. Interesting. It's in the back. Okay. I don't know. I think I might like that, actually. Um, and, and let's make a note. I've got a VGA port in the back here. Let me actually show you. So, here we go. So we've got our power right here, which is in the back. That's unusual as well. Most of them do it on the side, uh, which you can bump into, pull out. Not, I, I, it'll be interesting to see how I adapt to that. Um, VGA right there. So we've got some really cool stuff. You've got your Ethernet. You've got your HDMI. You've got your eSATA, which is neat. You've got... Uh, two USB 3.0's memory card reader right there. And then, of course, this is a Blu-ray player. It's not. This is not a Blu-ray burner. I didn't see the any reason why to get a Blu-ray burner. Um, I, everything is digital now, so I just went with the Blu-ray player. Um, it is nice to have it because I do have a few Blu-rays, and it was only a few bucks. Well, I say a few bucks. It was like sixty bucks to upgrade, but. You know, I, I wanted it. So, anyways, moving along. Move along, sir. Okay, headphones, microphone. Uh, what is that? Interesting. I haven't the faintest clue what that third input is. It's a mini stereo, and it's got a got an odd little symbol. Maybe you can tell me what that is. I'll look it up after this. This is a USB 2.0, and then a laptop box. So, I do like it. Uh, the, the machine feels good, by the way, it is, it feels sturdy, um, it has a little weight to it, I believe this was 10 pounds packed, uh, and I want to say it was 6.8, uh, right around 7 pounds, just like this. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the unit on, see what happens. Let's see if we can get that. It's not too bad of a glare, all things considered. There we go. Uh, there is a Samsung Evo uh, 250 gig uh, solid state hard drive that is the OS. There is a 1 terabyte uh, 7200 RPM. It was a SATA 2. They didn't have a SATA 3 uh, in the 7200 RPM. Uh, at a one terabyte, not a big deal because you're gonna you'll bottleneck your speeds anyways. You're not gonna see those. Um, now, what I plan on doing in the future is actually taking the the drive out over here uh, and putting in an, another one terabyte hard drive identical to that one, and then rating it. Uh, that would give me some really good speed. So I love uh, already. I, I can tell. I like the feel of the the mouse pad the trackpad it just it's it's just enjoyable so let's go so type in a username well it's Che it's me it's my computer oh, there we go okay so next I don't want a password so we're gonna see how long this takes to get into Windows we'll do recommended settings for now I'll tweak all this later I am in Eastern Time, which I just moved up here, so I'm not used to Eastern Time. I'm used to uh, 
central time, so I had to look in a different spot. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna skip this for right now. I'm gonna see how long it takes. Preparing the desktop. The keys are backlit. Um, so that's that was that was pretty freaking quick, all things considered. Uh, and let's see what we have on here. So Intel Wi-Fi hotspot. I do have the Intel uh, AC, so it's the newest one. There's Bluetooth 4.0 in here. Um, it is dual band AC. I mean, it was it was the works. It was a very affordable upgrade. I think it was thirty-five dollars to go to that. Um, and from what I can see, I'm looking on here and there is virtually, I say virtually, there is very, there are very little adware, or add-ons, you, you know, the, the bloatware that normally comes on your HPs and everything like that. Um, this laptop, so let's, let's recap what we've got in here. So there is uh, an Intel i7, and in fact, we can... move that out of the way right now. So, system rating is not available. Let's rate this computer and see what happens. So, it might take a few minutes. Okay. Uh, there is the Intel i7. It is the 4810. I think that's 2.6, either 2.6 or 2.8 gigahertz. Um, you can bump it up. I'm not going to. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM, 240 gigs solid state hard drive, uh, 1 terabyte in the data so we can see that right here uh, kind of let's see so you can see right there and then uh, the blu-ray drive uh, 1080 screen matte screen am I forgetting anything Onkyo speakers uh, awesome out outputs let's just go ahead and Mind me later. Okay, so it's still running the DirectX in. We're just going to get a real basic uh, Windows uh, assessment. It's not really going to tell us anything at all, but we can see what Windows says about it. Uh, that being said, uh, I love it. I, I, I'm looking forward to using it. There weren't many Sager things out there. I hope this helps. I will give an update. Uh, be sure to just follow me. Uh, I'll put this on the blog, and that way you can kind of check back in with me periodically. I will be using this computer to uh, edit the website, you know, edit a lot of the things and keep everything up to date. So if something goes wrong, I will let you know, and if it goes right, I will let you know as well. So uh, this is almost done. While this does this, uh, so the only bloatware that I can see... Now the Intel is really persistent. So the programs I see on here, Clevo code. Now Clevo, they're Sager, Clevo Sager, uh, one and the same, same. I don't know. They uh, so that's that's just basically the the bio access, the setup for the fingerprint for the biometrics. So set that up. I've Creative Suites. That's the Sound Blaster Cinema. So. Um, Create the Cyberlink Media Suite. That's a full version. Uh, Aegis Tech by Bi again Biometrics. That is HD V Deck. Don't know what HD V Deck is. Um, oh, it's down here. Oh, okay. So there really is no bloatware on here hardly at all, which is awesome. That is really cool. Um, that is a huge frustration, especially when you buy a new computer. Uh, and it comes out of the box with all this bloatware. It's, it's already instantaneously, uh, I should say, from the get-go, slow. Uh, and even going through and cleaning off those programs doesn't always remove all of the registry entries or the little bits uh, of files that may get left around the computer. And it just, the computer is never truly at its peak, you know, when you buy it. And that's something that always drove me crazy. So to be able to buy a laptop like this uh, and, and, and have it, as clean as possible is fantastic. Okay, so that's the alarm. Yes. Oh yeah, I have a beard. I have a beard, man. Ugh. 
see I can we're waiting we're waiting so in my day we chop wood not play on computers I don't, I don't know what the character is I apologize it's just that a few of the people that I know that will see this they'll be like dude Jay has a beard that's nuts oh okay so, 5.3, 5.3, of course, remember, so oh, we'll look at it real quick. Uh, it says, uh, the, basically what it does is the Windows ex experience, it takes all the scores, and then it just it looks at the lowest one, it goes, that's your score. And it's not an average, it's not anything, it just says, well, here's what sucks, and that's your computer. So, what this is saying is for the graphics, the graphics are 5.3. Graphics were not a monstrous deal to me, so that doesn't matter to me. If we look at the processor, 7.6, and this is on a 1 to 7.9 scale, so 7.6 on the processor, 7.6 on the RAM, 5.3 on the graphics, um, <laughs> gaming graphics. Oh, okay, here it is, 7.1 on the gaming graphics is desktop performance for Windows Aero, so we don't care about that at all. And then primary hard disk, which is the data transfer rate, is 7.9. So that Samsung Evo just just floored it on that. Um, and it is SATA 3. Um, it's it's. I, I I would like to get some uh, programs on here that we could test the hard drive speeds, read write speeds, and things like that, and see what we get. But for now, that's all I'm going to do. And we have actually uh, some keyboard types as well, which is really cool. I don't know if you can see that, but it allows you to do a full color keyboard which I can do and you can't see it right now so we'll have to just wait you can even do a colored touchpad now that is cool I keep not remembering where the camera is and or the camera dot right there so I look down here and I'm like every family is it we keep the computer oh so uh, you can have colored touchpad uh, standard keyboard illuminate white keyboard I mean that is really cool um, Full color keyboard, we'll do that. Excellent. So that's my review so far. Mm, looking forward to it. Hope this helped, guys. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye bye.